that we've talked about before. We'll bring them back to the table. The first one um, is yours, yes. Jim Monopoly at Valencia. Um, the Georgian, bring him home. The Georgia yes. International um, uh, you know, playing at Valencia. Um, there were actual rumours, and Lampire um, Media touched on this, but uh, Relivo mentioned that Valencia wanted around 30 million euros, which is around sort of 25, 26 million pounds yes. for him. Um, and he's kind of interested in potential of moving um, from Valencia. Newcastle is mentioned in that piece. Um, do, do you see, first of all, do you see Mamad Ashfali as an option? Um, we've also got another option that's been talked about, and his name has started to be kind of raised his head. We'll do this as a double whammy, um, Graham. And, and that's Aaron Ramsdale. Um, obviously, it looks like he's got no future at Arsenal, not really been involved. Bayard seems to be firmly the number one. It was a bit with us in January, but that went a bit cold. Like, what do you make of these two signings? Are they going to be ones that are going to maybe raise their head again this summer? It seems the goalkeeping situation is something that Eddie Howe wants to address. That is true. That's what we're hearing. Um... Mamba I love him as a player. You know, Chelsea looked at him strongly. I, I'd be surprised if he moved before the Euros, given Georgia are there. I think he want to put himself in the shop window. I don't for one minute believe that he's available at £25 million because I think if he was, Newcastle and Chelsea probably both do the deal now. Um, <laughs> he is one of the best keepers in Europe. That's a little doubt about that. Um, I haven't heard his name in the Newcastle conversations, I must admit. Unlike Aaron Ramsdale, I think he's a player who Eddie Howe likes and I think he's looking at. I think it, it's it's an avenue that Eddie Howe is clearly wanting to address. You know, Ramsdale is good with his feet. I think he's had a lot of he's had a lot of unwarranted criticism at, 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 at Arsenal. He's been under the spotlight a lot. I, st I still think he's better than David Rea. I've got no qualms about that. I really don't, guys. I think the only thing David Rea is better than Ramsdale is, it's speak is speaking Spanish, and that's it. I think Ramsdale is, is, a, is a superior goalkeeper. And England national, great age. You can see why um, Newcastle might be in for him. You know, it's it'd be very harsh on Nick Pope in a lot of ways, but when you can imp when you can improve the team like this, I think it's a distinct possibility. I know a lot, a lot of Newcastle fans will say he's not better than Nick Pope. Well, he, he is. That he was is the really. question I was going to ask. He, he is. Yeah, I think he is. I think he is better than Nick Pope. He's better with his feet. Shot stopping, they're probably on par with each other. But, you know, he's got another 10 years in him, Aaron Ramsdale. England, no, he, he will push to be England number one when he's playing regularly. I, I like, I, I'm, I'm not biased, but I just rate him as a player. I know a lot of Newcastle fans don't. Oh, I'm not Castle lands warned, but you know, um, you know, I'll just say, you, in, if you know, Eddie Howe is the uh, is the Messiah for many of you, so you got to believe in what you got to believe if he wants him, you got to believe in him. Do you know what, Graham? It's funny, it's funny you say that because, like, we, we've had this discussion many a times, haven't we, boys? And like, my, my personal opinion on Ramsdale, like, I think Ramsdale is a good keeper, and I think. I think him and Pope probably run each other close. I can't argue and say Pope is definitely better than Ramsdale or Ramsdale is definitely better than Pope. I think it's probably a close one thing. But I just don't know whether Ramsdale is a significant enough of an upgrade to warrant bringing in a new number one. Like, if we were going to bring in a new number one, I'd want to go, yeah, he's well, be he's well better than Pope. And I can't say that about Ramsdale because I don't think... I'm not saying he's not, but I, I don't think there's a significant enough jump where you go, oh, it's a big upgrade. It's, it's, a, it's a much, much better upgrade than what we've got. I, I, I say that, Chris. Yeah, I say that. I, I think Pope was having a was not having a very good time of it before he got injured, I must admit. I think he was made quite a lot. Of, he was making some glaring errors there just before he got injured. Um, I think it's just something that, that, you know, if you have Pope and Ramsdale competing, that's going to, going to be one of the best goalkeeping departments in the Premier League. And and you know you are you try to build the squad you kind of try to improve it in every which way and um, yeah I, I think Rams I say, I think Ramsdale is better than Pope I, it's not a massive mass you know, I think you're going from a seven out of ten keeper to an eight out of ten keeper I don't it's a massive it's not a massive massive improvement as you say Chris um, but clearly it, there is something in this guys there really is um, it's not a definite but Eddie Howe Eddie Howe in the Newcastle. Um, recruitment team are looking at the goalkeeping department. Interesting. 
very Good interesting. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how that one develops. Um, you know, we, we've talked about it all, all year uh, with the Pope injury. Let's see um, if that one develops, but it seems like um, Eddie Howe is looking at addressing it from what Graham was saying. Um, another player that's divided opinion 